So I'm Dr. Clara Barker. I work in the materials department of Oxford University and I'm the lab manager for the Centre for Applied Superconductivity uh, where I'm a thin film material uh, synthesis specialist. Um, so that means that I make thin films, things that we use every day like coatings for our glasses uh, to prevent them reflecting um, some of the thin films that we have on phones, touch screens and things like that. I've made things like that in the past with my various research projects. At the moment we make superconductors uh, which is a really exciting field um, and uh, you can look into that a little bit more if you want to. Um, what I do in my spare time, so I'm a big old nerd, so I play Dungeons and Dragons, I play board games and things like that. Um, I also love uh, listening to and reviewing music, going to see live bands, uh, I DJ sometimes, uh, I play guitar sometimes, and I also like to rock climb. Uh, that's something that uh, I love. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I do in my spare time uh, when I have any. So I'm going to start looking at these cards and seeing what we've got. Okay, so the first question is, who is your hero? Um, that's an interesting question. Um, so my biggest hero is always going to be my mum. Like, she brought me up and just sort of raised me in a particular way. And she's always been my biggest fan and supporter. So that's really nice. Um, in terms of science, I didn't really have a, a, a particular hero for a very long time, uh, which is a little sad. Um, to me, but in, in recent years I've started meeting really great scientists. There's a, a brilliant um, uh, scientist called uh, Dr. Jess Wade, who I've met a few times and worked a lot with, and I think she's brilliant. She really um, highlights uh, women in STEM subjects, in science subjects, and, and she's just a really nice person, and she's just so much fun, and I always get so much energy from her, so she's a real hero of mine at the moment. Question number two, what advice would you give, what advice would you now give to your 12 year old self? Wow, my 12 year old self, uh, I seem to remember that being 12, it was a long time ago. Uh, I think to have more confidence, to be more free to be myself, to more, um, be more focused on achieving what I want to achieve and not worrying about what other people think I achieve and what people think I can do. I was so worried about pleasing everybody else and uh, fitting in uh, to those, uh, with those people around me and just doing what I, you know, was told to do. And actually, I think I, if I'd have had a bit more confidence and just um, pushed and followed my dreams instead of those that I thought other people wanted me to do, it would have been really nice. So I'd definitely say have more confidence and just follow your dreams. What is your favorite invention? Ooh, right. Oh, there's so many amazing tools at the moment. Um, I think it's fair to say that we can't really live without uh, smartphones. I think that's a really good invention. Um, but my favorite invention, oh, I don't know, something simple. I like simple inventions that make your life better. So um, if you think of like a, a, um, a coffee filter, a, a, cafe, a coffee cafetiere, it's such a simple concept, but it makes good coffee and it does it so simply. I love inventions that kind of do something that's great for you, but in a really simple way. It's just a nice engineering solution. So yeah, I love cafetiers. Um, maybe not what you're expecting, but I just, I like good engineering. All right, third, uh, fourth question. Describe myself in three words. Wow. Um, I think those three words, definitely, I hope that one of those words is caring. Uh, I like to be considerate of other people around me and think about what's going on and help other people. Um, and I like to spend a lot of time doing that. So definitely uh, that's one of them. Uh, hopefully another one is inventive. I like to come up with new ways and new solutions of doing things. Um, I like to come up with those simple engineering solutions uh, to different things. It's really good as a scientist to be able to come up with new ideas and do it easily. But then even in everyday life, I love inventing stories. I like writing stories and songs and stuff. So I think there's that inventiveness just everywhere. Um, 
that's me dropping the microphone. <laughs> and I, I like to think that the, um, the third one now is, is um, I'm very oh, stubborn. I think that now that I've gained my confidence, I know what I want to do and I'll push my way and I'll work hard and I'll do what I need to do to get there, which wasn't always the case. I didn't always have that, but now, um, I'm really pushing to sort of do what I want to do and live my own life and uh, live my own authenticity. And uh, I still think that we can achieve and we can achieve for other people as well, that acceptance in society. So that's cool. Yeah. Final question. Where do you see yourself in five years time? Um, I'd like to think that I'm still at Oxford University um, I really like my lab and I'd like to have more of a research group, do some more of my own science, but I'd like to do a lot more um, outreach and science communications and stuff like that. So I'd like to talk and show that, you know, that there are trans scientists out there, that there are female scientists out there um, and just and work with other people as well, uh, people with disabilities and uh, people of colour and things like that. I want to, I, I really want to you know, show that anyone can be a scientist if you work hard. Um, and that would be really, really nice. Don't get me wrong, it'd be really nice if I could uh, do that on TV as well, but you know, we'll see. Gotta be uh, ambitious. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> cool, so that's all the questions. So anything else that I, uh, shall I just say goodbye? <laughs> cool, well, uh, it was nice to not meet you, but to sort of virtually meet you and hopefully I'll see you again at some point, maybe even in real life. Uh, and take care. <laughs>